He was diagnosed with an aggressive form of brain cancer earlier this year. But former Home and Away star Johnny Ruffo was filled with Christmas cheer on Monday, posting a sweet snap of his family and girlfriend Tanise Sims on the day. The lovely couple, who battled his diagnosis together, looked happy standing alongside Johnny's brother Michael and his partner Rosie Bugansky. Earlier, the 29-year-old posted a comparison photo four months after receiving life-saving radiotherapy treatment to show how the time has healed the scars. What a huge difference, now I just need my hair back, he wrote in the caption on. The 29-year-old underwent emergency surgery in August, posting a photo of his stapled forehead to update fans on his condition. So I have the news. It was a bit of a shock and I've got an interesting journey ahead and a bit of a battle. I am starting aggressive treatment for the next few months to fight the diagnosis of brain cancer. Please stay positive for me and I'll try to update you guys on my progress, he wrote online at the time. But months later Johnny's scar is almost non-existent as he finishes the year off with his loved ones. He finished his radiotherapy treatment at Chris O'Brien's Life House in October, but admitted at the time he still had a long road ahead. In September, Johnny spoke on Nova's Fitzy and Whippa show about being rushed to the emergency department by Tani. Johnny the blonde beauty was in absolute tears when she found out he had a brain tumor, before signing off on a surgery to have it removed. It's 8 a.m. in the morning and she gets a call from the emergency department, saying you need get down here immediately because he's got a brain tumor, so she was in absolute tears at the time, Johnny said. And she had to drive down there and they said look, we need to do an emergency operation. Because by this stage, I had slipped into a coma, he added. She had to sign a form to give permission. Johnny said that doctors told Tony there was a 1 in 20 chance he could die from the operation. After the surgery, doctors told him he would have died if he didn't go to emergency, and would have fallen asleep at home and had a brain aneurysm. The surgeon removed 95% of the tumor, and the other 5% is believed to have been removed during the course of radiotherapy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment your opinion, share this video and subscribe to my channel. New videos are uploaded every day.